Greetings from James Wright Cars, and our video today is this Rapido Le Randonneur 1990 DF motorhome. It's a four berth vehicle and has an itinerary as long as your arm, including this trailer which can tow a small car away with you. It's a two and a half litre six speed manual diesel vehicle, of course it's left hand drive in this case which makes it brilliant for continental cruising and it has so much equipment that's been included within the sale you'd be very very surprised to find anything that could beat the value for money that is being offered here today. There's a very good quality reversing camera which also stays on whilst you're towing forward so you can keep an eye on your trailer and your small car on it. It's a very tricky video to make this because there's so much stuff here we don't quite know where to begin. But in no particular order, there's a great big set of ramps in here and beyond that there's one of these towing A-frames you can, instead of towing, taking the trailer with you, you can pull like a Toyota Igo or an IQ behind you there and in these bags here there is, a, a, well, a once only used awning. Now this is about £1,500 worth of awning there, that's a bag, don't know what's in that one, but this is more awning stuff here, spare wheel in there, there's a full set of carpets in here which have never been used because there's been a, a copy set made which have been used from you. Across the other side there, there's a complete overall cover, a winter cover which goes over the vehicle as well. In here there's a hot water tank in there uh, and also the fuse boxes and the whole control centre. This garage is accessible from this side and this side too and there's a better view of all the fuse box and control systems. Cold water is filled from this point. All four tyres were replaced fairly recently with brand new Michelin heavy duty tyres. The hot water and heating system is accessible here and the drain point for it as well and that is of course the 240 volt socket in and this is of course the exhaust for the heating system. Under the side locker here there's a space for if you want to take your grandma away with you. All the decals are completely unmarked and undamaged and unfaded as well. Driver's door access and diesel filling point. Electrically operating door mirrors with blind spot mirrors both sides. Engine access is ridiculously good for one of these sorts of vehicles and I do know for a fact that the air conditioning radiator was replaced in the last couple of years at some expense. There's a 180 degree windscreen giving you the most amazing panoramic views. It even has three wipers. Twin gas bottles here, uh, LPG of course, which can be of course be refilled from this gas flow unit here. So instead of going and buying new bottles, you can just take it to a petrol station that sells LPG. Barbecue point there as well. Cassette Lou, Lou flush stuff, and all these Dometic type grills have been replaced in recent times to make it all nice and fresh and new again. This small window has been added by the owner at some expense, in actual fact, because it being a left-hand drive vehicle, when you get to a junction to look right over your shoulder, there's a blind spot here. This is an enormous help. There's a Fiamma F45L deployable side awning here with unnecessary poles and braces, which are all very unused, which are stowed underneath the vehicle. The small car trailer stows into a ridiculously small area because this tow hitch folds and it stands on that to take up less space when the thing's not in use. Right, that's enough about the outside. Let's go and see what the inside is like. Ah, 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 before you go in, this has also got um, a blackout blind here and this door works with the central locking as it does so when you alarm the vehicle, chunk, both the driver's door and this door lock, the vehicle alarms, and it's also got a phantom tracker on it. So if the vehicle is moved and you don't start it in quite the right way and the right sequence, you, the owner suddenly gets a phone call saying, where's this vehicle? And it is tracked by satellite, so it would make it a much safer thing to not have stolen. There's a fly screen here for when you're not using the air conditioning. This thing does have, it has a Dometic air conditioning unit mounted on the roof. There's also air conditioning for when the vehicle's on the move as well. But also there's a satellite dish which when on command it folds itself up and turns around and faces the right satellites. And the television here is deployed the one out of here. It can be watched by anyone in this area of the vehicle or it can swing all the way around to face the other way and people in bed can watch it. Now in here there is a plastic tube here, which you can't quite see when I'll show you in a second. What well, that one's for is to stow baguettes. There's a good size fridge freezer here, and of course these are on the vent mode at the moment so they don't go mouldy, and these will operate by gas, 12 volt or 240 volt, as will the central heating and the hot water as well. That's also able to be run in a, either by gas or by 240 volt. I don't think the heating and the hot water work on 12 volt. There's an oven there, a three burner hob, gas hob here, and the sink here, and a nice great big, fairly new mixer tap. Hot water and heating are controlled from here. There's a 240 volt socket outlet there, and there's also lighting controls here as well, as well as an overhead extractor fan there too. 
While I'm standing here, here is that Dometic air conditioning unit, which will blast nice icy cold air down in very hot climates. And you've also got blackout blinds here and fly screens for these hatches. These, of course, open. There's one in the front and there's one in the back and there's one also in the uh, loo compartment there as well. Nighttime accommodation is easily achieved by simply pressing this buckle here and down drops a very good size, very comfortable mattress and not complete without its little ladder which you hook on there and off you go to bed. The other two berths are in, of course, the rear end of the vehicle, which is another good size double as well. The sole or the floor of the vehicle has got this lovely, lovely finish here. And these carpet sets have been made as replications of the originals. And the originals, of course, in the, in the garage there at the back. This is the shower cabinet and the owner has Rather than use the shower, he's built this unit here, complete with a microwave oven in. Now this is terribly easy to remove and return this thing to a shower, but he preferred to use the facilities that are on site. The loo, or if it was on board a boat, we call the heads, is here. Now the quality of the equipment here is very good and it has a good solid feel to it. It's not all lightweight and flimsy as can be found in some motor caravans. Crockery is stored in this area, I would imagine, as a plate rack, and also in here the cutlery drawer is located underneath the cooker glasses, cabinet, and any number of storage lockers down the sides. And in these lockers, we have at the moment stored all the necessary bits of paperwork for this vehicle. And I can tell you it's only had two owners from you, two private owners, I'm to understand. Uh, now, all the bills and the invoices and the service history, and there's no point going through it now because there's just so much, and all the instructions are here. All the bills for everything the vehicles had spent on it, all the previous service invoices and MOTs and everything, it is one mass of information we have for this vehicle. It really has had the very best of lives. The man who has had it is one of these individuals that has a place for everything and everything it's his place. He really has looked after it terribly well. Good evening, Mr Bond. Mm. Anyway, there's a fold-away table here which gives seating for six when this driver's seat is swivel round to face the front. It's all really good condition as well. This is lovely, good quality leather and there's no rips, no tears, no bagginess or sagging to any of that. Hiding behind this curtain are no less than five remote controls all the various systems on board. On start-up, the vehicle will burst into life with no hesitation at all. And this will boot up here and will produce its... Uh, it's actually a Pioneer system. It has Rapido when it, when it starts up. There you go, Rapido. And that will give a continual uh, visual representation of what's happening with the trailer behind us there while she's driving along. And if I shove it into reverse, it should give me a reverse camera. There you are. There's a reverse camera, but when I'm going along, I'll be able to see um, the, the trailer, uh, as well as the sat-nav down the other side of the screen. There's the air conditioning as well. There you are. There it is. There's your trailer. There's your satellite navigation. And there's a very good quality sound system in this as well. I think it's uh, six speakers in total. But what you can do, if I work out how it works, is impress AV, and it will then give me uh, a load of music here. Every time you play a CD in this thing, it remembers it, and then you can then play it back without the CD in it. If I press AB again, it'll go to FM there, or the medium wave, and that's your library of all these various different tracks that have been already stored in the vehicle by the previous owner. Now, apparently the previous owner bought this vehicle when it was two years of age, and it was like new at that stage, and it's not far beyond it now. It really is good. To enter a CD into the unit, you press this button here, and this folds down here. Don't put your coffee on there, it won't do it any good. In, in your CD goes. But for a 2008 vehicle, this is pretty advanced stuff, I must say. Oh, one more thing, it has cruise control as well. Blackout night screens all round, so just these all fold away like this, and hook back in there, and the front one there, which there's another one on the other side, of course, this motor's round and hooks back in there and clips out of there, in there just for, for daytime use. It surprises me how nice and easy this is to drive, even as a left-hand drive vehicle. We've got the trailer on behind and it's there, it's on the screen there, and I've just gone down this little lane and there was the opportunity to back the thing round and turn it round. You'd have thought, being a long vehicle with a short trailer, it'd be an absolute peg to turn around, but it wasn't. I did it in one, if you can back a trailer, that is. It is actually amazingly simple. Steering's lovely and light, clutch is light, air conditioning is nice and cold. You've just got to remember to be on the on the left-hand side of the carriageway, of the, of the left-hand side of the road as you're driving along, of course, in this country. But you get surprisingly used to it. Visibility around the front is amazing. And that two and a half litre diesel really does give quite a respectable turn of speed. You can do 70, 80 mile an hour in this if you wish to do so. 
Um, it's recording the speed in kilometres an hour, but on the screen there, you can see that it's been marked, so you can see where the, uh, the, the, the actual speed is for the UK. And the odometer, 40,297, is recording in miles. As I said before, there's cruise control as well. So it's a very easy vehicle to live with. It's not the sort of thing you'd go racing along with, but it's, it's nice, and it's, it's just a nice place to be. Anyway, that's our 2008 on an 08, 40,000 mile Rapido 1990 DF four berth motorhome that we currently have for sale. You can contact me on this telephone number running across the bottom of the screen here. We're also on Facebook and Instagram as well. We can take a part exchange, we can also arrange finance. Do come down and see it and you might even take it out for a run if you're only one to. All that remains for me to do now is thank you very much for watching.